What's going on, Dodgers Nation? Doug McCain here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, hit that like button, and give me all your takes down below in the comment section. And be on the lookout for the Dodgers Nation word of the day. We're giving out over $1,000 worth of cash and prizes this month. All you have to do is spot that word of the day. It'll flash on the screen at some point during this video. And once you spot that word of the day, all you have to do is go to our about page email us that word and you're entered to win we're giving away over one thousand dollars worth of cash and prizes good luck secure that bag dodgers nation and for all latest dodgers news head over to dodgersnation.com so today we're going to talk about Max Muncy. The Funky Muncy spoke to reporters yesterday, and he had a lot to say. He talked about his struggles last season, his motivation for the Dodgers to win the World Series this year. He also talked about those deadening baseballs and how it's going to impact hitters. And I'm going to tell you how those D-Juice baseballs could have a major impact on the 2021 Dodgers. But first, Max Muncy, his 2020 season was definitely a down year. He posted a WRC plus of 100. He slashed 192, 331, 389. Did have a lot of walks 39 walks he had the 11th highest walk percentage in all of major league baseball last year at 15.7 percent but max munch will tell you he wasn't at his best last season and he's making no excuses i'm not gonna make any excuses you know i just wasn't a great performance last year uh but at the same time i do feel like if we played a full 162 games my numbers would have been fine um i felt like i was starting to turn, turn it around towards the end and uh, you know, I believe I showed that during the playoffs. Uh, you know, I felt really good during the playoffs, and that was kind of how I was feeling towards the end of the season. And, uh, you know, I have no doubt that if we would have had a full season, uh, the numbers would have looked a lot better than what they were. But, uh, you know, that being said, there's still no excuses. I got to perform better to start the year, and, uh, you know, that's what I'm planning on doing. And yes, despite a down regular season, Max Muncy came to play when it matters most. The Funky Muncy brought it in October. He had a 1,043 OPS in the NLCS, had two bombs. Then the World Series, he hit 318, had a 944 OPS. He hit 389 with runners in scoring position in the postseason. In total, he hit 250, had a 904 OPS in the postseason. But he came through big when it mattered most. He had that big home run off glass now there in the World Series. How about that one? Walk he drew to get Will Smith to the plate there in game five against the Braves. That was a pivotal walk from Max Muncy. You know what Will Smith did right after that. It was really the turning point in that series and for the Dodgers in the postseason. But like Muncy said, it was a short season, only 60 regular season games. He feels like his numbers would have come around in a full 162 game season. So I'm going to give a lot of these guys the benefit of the doubt. But we'll see if Max Muncy can get it right this year. In his two full regular seasons with the Dodgers, 2018 and 2019, he averaged 35 home runs a season. So we'll see if he can get close to posting that number. It might not be as easy this time around because the balls have been deadened. And no, it doesn't mean they're killing the baseballs. No baseballs were harmed in the making of this video. What it means is they're trying to lower the coefficient of restitution. They're trying to center the baseball because in recent years, that drag has decreased. So they're trying to increase that drag, and they're doing that by loosening the tension on the first three wool windings with in the ball so how big of an impact would this have this could be the difference of a couple feet on a fly ball so we're talking warning track power versus a home run and if that's the case this could have a major impact on hitters like max muncie and he didn't seem too thrilled about the deadening baseballs i'm, de I'm deadening it i mean the pitchers don't throw 100 miles an hour also uh you know that's my only question is i feel like the whole game has kind of triggered it against the offense and now they're taking the one the one sole advantage that we had was uh maybe or maybe not the ball was a little bit juiced you know they obviously have never confirmed that but them saying they're going to deaden the ball it was kind of uh heartbreaking but uh you know you gotta you gotta go out there and you gotta you gotta get around it somehow so uh you know we'll, we'll see how it goes there in spring uh you know hopefully we have the baseballs now we can start seeing how they fly and um you know it'll be interesting to see how much of a difference it actually is and then Dave Roberts commented on the new baseballs for the 2021 season, and he almost agrees with Muncy that it's going to be an advantage for the pitchers. Dave Roberts said, I haven't dug too much into it, but there have been many pitchers in our camp who have expressed their feelings as far as last year's baseballs being a lot harder and the strings wound a lot tighter than they potentially will be this year. So it's a welcome thing for pitchers. Now, if you look at the last full regular season in Major League Baseball in 2019, there were 6,776 home runs hit that year. 
That's 1.39 home runs per team per game. And in 2020, that number dropped to 1.28 per team a game. So it did go down slightly in 2020, but it was still a ridiculous amount of dingers compared to decades past. So we all know that chicks dig the long ball. Chicks dig the long ball. But do they like to watch hitters go down swinging? Because in 2019, the league set a record with 42,823 strikeouts. And this is a league that through 1997, the league had never had more than 30,000 strikeouts in a year. So that number has gone up and up and up each season in the last five years. And I think the league is saying that we need balls in play. We need to see a more dynamic game. It can't be this game where it's just strikeouts and home runs, strikeouts and home runs. They need a more dynamic product on the field. And I think this is Major League Baseball saying we want that type of game. We want to build more interest in the game. And a lot of people say, oh, it's all about the home run ball. But look, all those home runs, they come at a cost, and it's watching all these strikeouts. So I'm all in favor of more action. Look, you don't want to see a heavyweight title fight and watch the two boxers just try to knock each other out with haymakers on every punch. You want to see some jabs in there. And I think Major League Baseball, they're saying that, hey, we've seen ratings go down. We've seen attendance go down in certain regions. And I think they want to see what the game would look like as a more action-packed dynamic product so look sometimes with the lake you got to add some fresh water you got to change things up or it's going to get stale and I think baseball has been due for this for a long time now if you're someone that loves offense and wants to watch a home run derby every game look if this experiment doesn't work and they see ratings decline and attendance decline trust me those balls will be back and there'll be more Jamba juice than ever now how will this impact the Dodgers going forward now there's a lot of guys that have all or nothing swings at times the Max Muncy's the Cody Bellinger's they're gonna have to adjust just if this is the case but I think most of the hitters up and down this lineup have the hit tool to adjust look last season this team hit 118 home runs that's 1.96 home runs per game so they feasted on the long ball will they have to play a different brand of baseball this year I don't think so I still think this team will be prolific with the long ball and what did we learned last year in the postseason this team can beat you in every which way if you want a starting pitchers duel we can beat you that way if you want a bullpen game we can beat you that way if you want a fireworks show we can take it to you like we did in game three of the NLCS. Or if you want to play some small ball, we saw some big plays. That Austin Barnes bunt comes to mind. The way that Mookie bets is a tear on the base pass. So I'm not worried about this team scoring runs. But for some of the sluggers, they might have to adjust a bit. And I think it's going to be a good thing for them in the long run. And I don't care what kind of ball Madison Bumgarner was throwing to Max Muntz. You could be that dead ball era, dirty baseball. He was still going to have to get out of the ocean. Muncy hits this ball to deep right field. Forget about it. Muncy with a splash hit. And then Mad Max said something that made me want to run through a brick wall. He said he wants to celebrate winning the 2020 World Series by winning it again. No, I, I'm not aware of anything. I, you know, my, my goal to celebrate the championship is to go out there and win another one, and then we can have a real celebration. So I love that energy for Max Muncy. 2020 was sweet, but it's all about 2021 now and becoming the first team to repeat since the 2000 Yankees. But let me know down below in the comments. When it comes to watching baseball, which do you prefer? Do you like watching a pitcher's duel where it's low scoring, or do you like seeing a fireworks show with a lot of offense? Give me pitcher's duel if you like seeing low scoring, or give me fireworks if you like to see a lot of offense. Let me know down below in the comments section. And also, will Max Muncy make the all-star team this year? Give me a Y for yes, or give be an end for no and give me all your takes on the dead in baseball this year in MLB. My name is Doug McCain. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. That's at DMAC underscore LA. If you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to the Dodgers Nation YouTube channel. It's the fastest growing Dodgers YouTube channel in the game, so be sure to smash that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you want more Dodgers content, smash that like button. We've still got the Dodgers Nation Word of the Day challenge going on. We're giving away over 1000 dollars worth of cash and prizes all you have to do is spot the word of the day it flashed at some point during this video so if you saw that word head to our youtube about page email us that word and you'll be entered to win for our latest dodgers nation merch head over to gearup.la some of the best dodger designs in the game you'll find right over there at gearup.la get geared up for the new season for our latest dodgers news head over to dodgersnation.com and until next time think blue bleed blue and i'm out